First to go is the slowest of the qualifiers, 12-year-old Graham Jarvis from Canterbury and Kent, riding a Fantic, with Ulf Lundqvist of Sweden, his partner, riding a Beta. Ian Needham, who's 12, from Long Eaton in Nottinghamshire, riding a Yamaha, is partnered by John Lampkin from Great Britain, riding a Beta. Next to go is Olivier Clamagiron of Belgium, who's taking the place of Terry Girard of France, who is sick and can't compete. But Girard's partner is Dan Hemingway, a 13-year-old from Leeds, riding a Fantic. So he rides now with Clamagiron. Next to go is the great Italian Diego Bosis, riding his Aprilia, with Andrew Johnson, the 11-year-old from Pembroke Dock in Wales, riding a Fantic. Tony Scarlett of Great Britain on a JCM is partnered by Russell Brass, a 12-year-old from Clitheroe in Lancashire, on a Yamaha. And last to go, the fastest of the qualifiers, 14-year-old Wayne Holdsworth from Liphook in Hampshire on an Aprilia, partnered by the great Steve Saunders of Great Britain on a Fantic. Graham Jarvis then will get it underway. The junior goes first, has to tag the senior to make the senior go around the course in the opposite direction. And as luck would have it, the sun has come out in the time it's taken me to walk from the course back to the commentary box. But the conditions, oh, no mistaking how awful they are. With me in the commentary box again, as usual, Jack Stites. Looks terrible, Jack. Well, I mean, there's no doubt the, the problem today is going to be the, the mud and, of course, the water and everything just being very slippery. And that is a major problem. This is a very awkward obstacle. Oh, no, he's lost it there. 20 seconds. 20 second penalties as in the heats. Nicely over the seesaw. That's got a problem for the seniors on the way back. I'll explain it when they get there. Now the second seesaw. Just to prove that the first wasn't a fluke and he managed them both very well. What we have, you know, with all this mud, the major thing you have to do is to get your speed early. And if you try to get it as you're on something, you'll never do it. So you'll see them a lot of times give a, a lot of throttle, get your speed early, and then coast over things. And because the conditions are so bad, it's a much shorter course than we might have had. And he's coming in now to the very last of the obstacles. The clock won't stop as the senior rider takes over. It's their joint time, but at the moment I make it, he's just got 20 seconds to add. That's very good indeed. Very good round. Oh, and the senior, Ulf Lundqvist, the Swede, comes off before he gets round to the first obstacle. That's just an indication of how tough the conditions are under the wheels there, how greasy and slippery it is. Right, it, it, it just even the slightest movement of the machine in which you're not dead center over it and keeping all your weight straight on top of the tires. Of course, it'll just slide right out just like that. And it can happen at any second. You only incur penalties though when you're in a section and he wasn't when he fell, so that's all right. It, now, now a limbo section there. He has to duck under before dropping down to the next section. First seesaw, straight forward. The next seesaw, once both wheels are past the center point, they have to stop wait for a whistle, and then still come out of the section clean. Whistle. She has started to wave the flag, but decided it was okay. So that's clean. This is a clear round so far. Now from here on, the course slightly different. There's an over and under that they have to do, which the youngsters didn't have to uh, cope with. Very slippery on the bank. And a foot down, so he's got a penalty at last. Right, that, that bank right there is very slippery, and you've got to get your speed early, as we've said, and be able to coast up the side. Well, that's, that's really hard on the brakes also, but fortunately, they've finally gone to a disc brake system, which it really has gotten rid of a lot of the problem of not having brakes after water. So, one obstacle to go. And again, different from the youngsters, once they've crossed over this, they're going to have to turn and get down. Right. Not exactly lined up, is it, Jack? Right, the front end has to come down, get both wheels lined up. And it's good too. And just 20 seconds to add, makes a good time there, 3.46.23. On the start line then, 12-year-old Ian Needham with John Lampkin, Great Britain International. Good pairing this, and uh, although they were slow at qualifying, they've got a good chance. Comes from Long Eaton in Nottinghamshire, it's the George Spencer Comprehensive School. That's quite a, quite a big jump off of there, and, and I'm sure that it really does a job. I mean, first thing you just started, and your hands are cold, and but just keeping the concentration and, and not really worrying about it. Well, the engine gets right underwater there, but uh, they're pretty waterproof these days. Oh, nasty for him, never mind. 20 second penalty, all he's got to do is get himself up and away again. But it's easier said than done. Mike's heavy. 
Oh, it certainly is. I mean, every, everything's slippery and... But what, what you really need to do in this section is you've got to have your speed early and just keep a nice straight line and keep that speed moving. And what this does to the confidence of the young lads, uh, well, one can't be sure. He's got the seesaw next. He's got to get out through that exit gate, which he's done perfectly. Now, see how brave he is on the seesaw. Just got to get his confidence back. No! Oh. Whoa! Nerves take over very quickly at this game. It, it certainly does, and it, it's just hard to imagine, I mean, just what your heart is doing at this point, and your, your mind just isn't clear anymore. And, and knowing that you've got another one to do, which he's done beautifully. Well done. Well done, Ian. Third in the C-Class National Championships uh, last year. He can ride a bit. It's uh, just a question of holding it all together in tight competition, in front of television cameras, and you're only 12 years old, and the conditions under the wheels are dreadful. But he's doing well. That's very nice, and he's just keeping right over the center of the bike. And if the bike wants to slide, what you have to do is just let it slide underneath you and let the bike lean a little bit, but just keep centered over the top of it. This is still pretty good. Just 20 seconds to add for that one penalty on the cradle earlier. And it is good. So he's going to hand over a pretty good time to John Lampkin. 207.96 plus 20. John Lampkin now takes it up. Good to see him back in competition, John, because he had a very severe accident. A car accident broke his femur in his thigh and has only recently got back into competition. And he's made a mess of that. Yes, he, he had a great job in getting off of there. He saw he was falling off and he quickly jumped off the bike, pulled it down to him, didn't lose any time. But it, just his style, you can just see how comfortable he looks on the bike. Just, he stays right over the top, nice and centered. And one, of, one of the best looking riders around. And now he's got this awkward stop that he has to do. And he's made it. So, very few sections to go. Just two major sections after this. 20 see, seconds against him. Just but see how he's standing over that center. I mean, it's it's so so few that you see just the, uh, the, just a perfect stance on the bike. And he really has it. But way out of time. They're not going to get in front. 20 seconds to add, plus the elapsed time. So they're not really going to be in contention, but uh, I'm sure John Lampkin's going to be pleased if he just gets around this without doing any damage to himself. The condition's quite appalling, as you can see. It's a nice little turn there. Let's just get the front straight down. Right on. And that's a nice score they're going to come through with. So these two pairings have uh, turned it round from the heats. Jarvis and Lundqvist lead, Needham and Lampkin a second. We've got four more pairs to go. And the next one, then, is a 13-year-old, Dan Hemingway, from East Keswick, which is between Weatherby and Leeds. I think the major thing in this course is they're going to have to do it quickly. Very nice. Yeah, and especially on that, too. If they don't keep the front end up, they could be in serious trouble. And if the tires are met and wet at all, of course, it's hard to get that front wheel in the air. the family history of uh, motorcyclists learning his trade well very well in the heat and is he going to get over the cradle first he is clean that's wonderful yes that was very good